Hello, Mr. President. It's uh, November the 8th. It's around 9.15. I'm still in uh, Nanaimo. Uh, this morning I tweeted you already and message. I have been kidnapped by the RCMP, so I'm stuck here for 24 hours against my will for the sole purpose of torturing me. Um, I haven't slept in two days. I haven't eaten for at least a week and a half. I had a pizza, a piece of pizza one night. So uh, we're clearly in murder mode. I hope to get off this island. Um, if you could get some people here to get me off, that would be great. I'd like to seek immediate political asylum in the United States. I would like to leave Canada as soon as possible. Uh, my life is severely at risk here. Uh, if I stay here much longer, I will be dead. I expect within another five days I'll be in the hospital anyway. I am not sleeping, I am not eating. I have had all my clothes stolen, including my socks. So I was freezing all last night. Things are near, uh, near the end right now, frankly. I can even look in my face and see how badly I look. Um, there isn't much time left. I want to make sure that it's clearly heard throughout the world. The RCMP have kidnapped me. I am now held in Vancouver Island against my will. I, uh, there is no reason, there is no grounds for this, of course. And I would like immediate, in, immediate military involvement and engagement to free Canada from this Nazi regime that we live under right now. And personally, I would like to be freed, and I'd like to see my sister, Kelly Dobson. If you could help me find my sister and locate her and reunite me with her, Mr. President, I would be eternally grateful to you and your nation. I'll update you as events progress throughout the day. Thank you.